News 10 captured the moment Detective Ferency's funeral coach drove under the garrison flag. Hundreds of community members came out and lined the streets, all to pay their respects to Detective Ferency. News 10's Blake Dollier joins us now live in the studio to tell us about that procession. Blake? Patrice Rondrell, as I told you earlier, live from the procession, it was a somber yet an uplifting atmosphere. Hundreds of people lining up and down Wabash Avenue, all to say thank you to a hero they say did so much for the community. I talked to several folks who came out during the middle of their work weeks, and they told me they were willing to stand outside even in the blazing heat for hours to honor fallen detective Greg Ferency. As you see here, children were waving and families showing their support and first responders all coming out to pay their respects. One Terre Haute resident I spoke with told me he felt this event was too important to miss. He says he's thankful every day for the men and women in blue, and we should never take them for granted. I thank them all for the things they do each and every day. You don't know when you know you wake up, put your badge on and go out into the public and if it's going to be your last day or not. And I just want to thank them all for what they should do. What a powerful message there. And now again, Peebles was just one of hundreds who came out to show their support during this difficult time. It's also also worth mentioning police and first responders came as well from just all around the country. I saw some from Chicago, some from Toledo, and really just coming from everywhere. Patrice and Rondrell, back to you. It was very nice how the community turned out.